Okay. As you can clearly see, I have plugged in my wheel. I've plugged in my wheel, my shifter, handbrake, pedals, everything. I'll be it for a different project, but since that project is not ready yet to begin, I decided to try it out on the Forza Horizon 4. I recently gave it a try and was extremely pleasantly surprised by how relatively easy and fun it was to play even on a keyboard with pretty much all assists off and whatever. But I also saw a lot of potential for the game where you could just step it down a few notches and don't go balls to the wall constantly. Oh. I decided to actually switch the speedometer back on so that it's easily noticeable that it's actually a shifter. Um, yeah, so I, n I saw a lot of potential where you could just step it down a few notches. I had, I had just parked in a house that doesn't belong to me. You could just cruise around, essentially. You could take it around on the road, stick to the lane, shift gears as you would probably do in reality. Take it easy. And since you have all this amazing countryside that Forza offers you, and a few smaller towns and NPC cars driving around, giving you this larger sense of reality, you could easily do so. You could just take it out on the road, some somewhat obey the rules just cruise around which I sometimes like to do in certain games not a lot of them give you give you the ability to do so you can do it but you don't get the feeling you don't get the authenticity you don't get the vibe out of them from out of most of them but Forza as silly and goofy and Balls to the wall as it is, it can actually be a very, very, very decent cruiser. You can just take your car out on the road and do something as I just did. Just drive around, chill out, which is something I like to do from time to time, which I might be a, the only one in the world that likes to, which makes me somewhat of an anomaly. Especially in a silly game like this. And you can get a completely different experience from what you would get usually. Now, I have no idea how people play third person and steering wheel. You people are weird. That's impossible to do so. And you pretty much cannot get the full force experience by doing what I'm doing right now. I mean, having a steering wheel and having in-game camera. Because if you decide to go off-road, it's... your car shakes all over the place, it's a bit more difficult to see, and that's not really how it's meant to be played, as far as I see it. But, Forza is very customizable, as it turns out, and you can also drive like a normal person, somewhat. Which is... Which is very, very interesting. Which is a nice, which is another nice surprise I've gotten out of the game. You can just have one of your hands on the steering wheel, the other on the shifter. Just take a cruise around. Which unfortunately, I, it's spring outside, so it must be. So the rain must be pissing constantly. And by doing so, by doing this, what you actually see on the screen right now, you can get a nice, you can get an, um, an additional humanity out of the vehicles you're driving. Because you have all these hypercars, well, not all of them are hypercars, 
but you have, but you have all these hypercars available to you, which you can modify even further to make them to make them even more crazy. And you can just go 350 k's an hour through the through the weeds, through the forest, and whatever. Or you can step it down a few notches, keep your revs down, and just cruise and add this massive level of humanity of authenticity to the vehicles and to the environment. Which is great. And I was actually fairly sure it would be possible. I was I was very sure it would be the case. Even though I hadn't tried it before. I just did it for five minutes prior to this. And it's... Oh shit, I'm not getting out through here. Whoops, wrong button. Which is actually what I could be doing, right? I, I could be doing this in reality. I could just jump in my car and go take it around, go take it around the city, which is not very recommended because of the situation that's outside right now. But I wouldn't be able to do this if I wanted to. And by driving so, sensi so sensibly for the most of the time, when you eventually push the throttle down, when you eventually accelerate like, like crazy... The fuck you it's, <laughs> it's a completely different experience. And since the sense of speed and force is also pretty good, This is exactly what I was talking about. Just y you also get a you also get a nice contrast between going sensibly and eventually going balls to the wall. Which, if you would be playing Forza like it's mostly supposed to be played, you would be going balls to the wall. 100% of the time. But this way, you give it a bit more humanity. And you have all these open roads, countryside, gravel, tarmac, you can, you get countryside roads, you get, whoops, you get highways, bends, different, different types of cars. And when you plug in the wheel, and push for a little bit more authenticity it's like playing a completely different game so pretty much you get at least you get f from Forza Horizon you get at least two in one a two in one experience possibly even more
And I pretty much just crashed. Which means... Which means we have to change our ride. Let's go for the Shelby. That slides around even more. So... Yeah, there's not even much much more left to say. I'll just cruise around till the till I reach the destination and that's it. This is this is This is great. This is amazing. 